It has a hole down the middle where the sauce goes inside of it. It's one of my favorites. One of my favorites. sauce anything. It's a marriage between the macaroni and the sauce. This is an egg yolk and we mix it up at the table and it cooks the egg. So that's our that's our Virginia carbonara. That's delicious. So I got one more coming, alright? That's a yeah. And then you got puttanesca sauce, which means ladies of the evening. And I'll put that in with fresh tomatoes instead of canned tomatoes. Yeah. What all goes in a puttanesca? It has an alij, which is anchovies. With a demi of extra virgin olive oil, garlic, crushed red pepper. Salted capers, olives, fresh tomato, and just a breadcrumb at the end. Now, a puttanesca that's made in Philly, is that going to be a lot different from one you'd see in Rome? Uh, I've never been to Rome, so I don't know. Like okay. I said, I cook just like my mother and my grandma. Yeah, okay. And I'm Sicilian, so we love anchovies and breadcrumbs and raisins. Right, yeah. Uh -huh. Let me ask you, when it comes to a recipe for a dish, are you a, the kind of a chef who tries to respect tradition as much as you can, or do you want to put your own spin on it? Um, first of all, I'm a cook. I'm not a chef. I never had that opportunity. My mother and my grandma were the best chefs in the world as far as I'm concerned. They taught me. I try to keep my food simple, straightforward, and I tell everybody, you got to keep doing it over and over and over. No such thing as a recipe. Following a recipe is you're going to bake a cake or a pie. Here you got to cook with your heart. So you got to show the love. What you got to do is make it, you taste it, it needs a little more salt. A little less salt. It's like I told people, when there's five cloves of garlic in a recipe, and I put eight, do you think that's going to make a difference? No, it's not going to make a difference. Bottom line, if you use good quality ingredients, you got a great dish. Well, that's all food and Esca for fresh tomatoes. I mean, we just sent it to that table, three girls, food and Esca. What else, Kurt? You know, I noticed on your menu you've got a you got a lobster francesi. That's that's a very kind of that's a very East Coast Italian East Coast, thing. East Coast. I never had that growing up. Was my mother? She made potatoes and eggs. She made string beans and potatoes. But when we were able to go out to dinner, when I got a little older, there was a couple of great restaurants in South Philly. One called the Saloon. Yeah. They used to make a lobster francesi. Well, they couldn't afford lobster. My mother would buy it. But when I went to work, I could afford it. That's great. And what about the, um, you have a uh, South Jersey linguine? I call it, I call it, the South, I call it uh, the South Jersey over the top. What it is, is a, in South Jersey, we like things white, like white seed, green clams, like things white. I love school chili, I love crab meat and shrimp. So what I do is, I get a basis of a white clam sauce, and all that seafood, it could be lobster, it could be mussels, and white, and we use a clam sauce. If I didn't have clam sauce, I would use fresh clam sauce. People come to Moderanos, it's not just about the food, right? No. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, a, it's a tour kit. I tip. If you get it, you want to have the best time in your life. If you don't get it, you want to think that I'm a little stunat. I don't know what I'm doing. But after 25 years, I'm still here to fly restaurant. And the it is the food, the movies, and the music. This book comes out on 4 how I got started yeah. with nothing, cooking from the basement in South Philly. Right. 
gave up. That's, read this book, it'll change your life. Amen. Appreciate it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you gonna ask me that? Come on.